What's up you guys? My name is Cecily. Welcome to my channel and today we are talking basics. I love making these videos because it really like pushes me to really get to the nitty gritty like the real essentials of my wardrobe. So if you are starting your wardrobe from scratch or you're looking to revamp your classic capsule wardrobe, this is the video for you. I was really critical you know picking out of these stuff because i was like what are the pieces that i wear like over and over again and that i absolutely love that i would buy again if something were to happen to them so i have a good selection of pieces here to show you starting with i mean the white t-shirt right this particular one is the one that i recommend this one is from arquette unfortunately i know arquette is not yet available in the us i really hope they bring it like to the US because I know I have a lot of you guys that live there but this is available in all pretty much all the European countries it's the best t-shirt ever it's heavyweight it's boxy it's just that white t-shirt that goes with everything like with different styles I already see like this one I got a lot of wear out of it so it's already around to the, the neck area it's getting a little bit brownish I mean I can try to get that you know a little bit uh, stain remover this is like the t-shirt that i will buy over and over again i need to buy it in all the colors like i want one in black and one in gray as well so if you're looking for that one t-shirt universal t-shirt this is the one and by the way i'll um insert like pictures and videos of me wearing these pieces because i think that's a true testament for you to see how many times i wear them with how many different outfits the second piece is this t-shirt shirt from Uniqlo. This is more of a fitted t-shirt. It has a little bit of elastane as well so it really keeps its shape. There is like different types of t-shirt. I like the previous one which is a little bit more loose and more boxy. I love to wear that with jeans, tuck it in and things like that. This one I love to wear it as a layering piece. So under like my blazers, uh, cardigans, things like that. So if you want more of a fitted kind of of style this is the one you should go for again this is another one i only have it in gray right now but i am definitely going to get it also in white black and navy you know the basic colors because it's another one of those pieces that i reach for like so 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 much moving on to bodysuits i think that this is like the most worn piece along with like my t-shirts and my shirts, my white shirts. Bodysuits to me are a true essentials and my favorite brand for bodysuits is Kim's. I know not everyone is like keen on the Kardashians and I understand, but when something is good, like you have to give props to them. The Kim's, like not every single thing from Skims, but especially like these bodysuits the line fits everybody it is so good you guys like i have it like a scoop neck a sleeved one i'm thinking of getting like a black one as well i have like the bend over i have so many things also underwear and stuff because i really really do believe that the quality is like really really good i wear them like all year round in the summer they look nice on their uh, on their own because it is really snatch your body up but also like during the colder months i wear them as a layering piece underneath my blazer that's like really my go-to look if you look at a lot of my pictures and stuff a blazer bodysuit and jean combination whenever i don't know what to wear that's what i'm wearing because it's so 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 easy so definitely if you haven't tried the brand yet and you want to invest in just a couple of good quality bodysuits that will go with everything go with you for like a couple of years definitely check them out one last thing that i can say about these bodysuits when you want to channel like different looks really look at the neckline so i have like this variation which is like mock neck i have like razor back um, necklines i have the scoop neck i have turtleneck uh, uh, bodysuits as well because they all give a different vibe and i think that's like the thing that makes your wardrobe so versatile and not boring because it's just bringing that extra dimension to an outfit moving on to tank tops that's another basic in my wardrobe that is just a must this one 
is from H&M. This is like such a good quality, like it's a thicker material. I have this one for like three years now and it's like good as new. It has a like, li little bit of staining here, which I can take care of. But other than that, it's just as good as new. So not everything from H&M is trash. <laughs> they have some really great basics especially i also have like this one from Lueve. this was just like a piece that i just wanted because whatever but you don't have to have tank top that's from a luxury store you can get tank tops pretty much everywhere but what i love about tank tops is again the same as with bodysuits i can wear them during spring summer fall winter whatever well winter maybe not but all the three seasons as a layering piece in the summer as their own um, piece as well. They are so, so, so versatile. I think that they look great on me as well. I feel very comfortable in a razorback, kind of a razorback neckline like this to show my arms. I think it's like a little bit more flattering. When it comes to colors, I love like a beigey color. I love white. I'm also looking to get one in black. When it comes to the cropped length, I love this one because it's cropped, but sometimes I also want like a full length one, which is like the Lueve. These are basics that are workhorses in my wardrobe because I love that tank top or t-shirt and blazer combination. Layering in that way is just comes so easy to me. It still looks like very put together. All right, you already heard me say a little bit about shirts and stuff like that. And a white shirt to me is just, there is no discussion there, right? Something that you can style so many different ways. I even made a whole video on how to style a white um, button down shirt in like 10 different ways. It is that, that the most versatile piece or one at least of the most versatile pieces in my wardrobe mine um is from the frankie shop it is a little bit more pricey you can get various white shirts for more affordable price which i'll link below a couple of options i like this one because it's a little bit see-through so it gives that super relaxed kind of vibe pocket i pretty much like wear it with the sleeves rolled up it's long as well but not too long not really short either it's just that perfect white shirt in my opinion it is, even has like some pleating in the back i love this one i also have one from everlane which is a more heavy duty one it's like a more thicker material which also comes in handy when the weather is colder and you want to wear a white shirt there are so many variations on a white shirt but i think that when you find that perfect one for you stick to that i'm sure you already know but this is like one of those pieces that you'll get so much wear out of. A gray cashmere sweater is another one of those basics. I have this sweater for a couple of months now in my collection. And the way that I have been wearing this and styled it so many different ways is like wild. Because it's that piece that I didn't know I needed. But then once I got it, I was like what was i doing all of this time because it this particular one is from arquette size medium and i love that it's a little bit oversized but not too crazy and it's like that perfect uh weight so it's not too uh thick and it's not too light like if you compare it with this sweater that i'm wearing right here this is like super lightweight which is also nice but there is just more limited way you know ways that you can wear it whereas this there are so many ways that i can wear it it's super functional because it will keep me warm during the fall and winter and spring as well when it's like not as cold i can wear it on its own maybe with a layer underneath it i love to layer this like wear a white t-shirt underneath it to have the color show a little bit also on the bottom i just love that look but i also wear this like underneath a blazer because it's not super bulky like sometimes you have sweaters that are super super bulky that you need like a very oversized blazer or or an oversized coat so you can wear the the sweater but this is not that this is such a good 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 staple i love also the details that it has like here around the sleeves i think that um h&m also has one super similar so i'll try to find that and link it below as well
I'm not a big cardigan kind of girl, but if there is one cardigan that I wear to the ground, it's this one. It's from H&M. Again, one of those pieces that I got like two to three years ago. It's just good as new. I Every season I take it out. I do the debobbling. Just make sure that I take good care of it. And that's pretty much it. It's such a low maintenance kind of shirt, um, kind of cardigan as well. The cashmere cardigan, you have to be a little bit more careful when washing it to make sure that it doesn't shrink and things like that this one you can just throw in the washer and that's pretty much it let me just see what if i still have the label to see what uh, material this is 64 percent polyester 30 percent acrylic and six percent wool so that's why nowadays i'm not really into polyester but like this one is such a good one i'm not gonna lie and i think that it's it's really about how many times you wear a piece if you get a piece that's not the most responsible kind of materials but you wear it over and over and over again i'm not sure if that's bad i think that's actually good so this is like really one of those pieces i wear it on its own with i, I love like the deep v with my neck showing i do like some necklace layering things like that but i also wear it as a layering piece with like a turtleneck under it or a bodysuit tuck it in or leave it open so many ways that you can wear a cardigan and for me my body shape i love a more cropped cardigan so this one is just perfect h&m also has like a couple of new styles that i saw on their website a beautiful cream one which i'm thinking of getting maybe in the windfall comes around but such is such a good uh, good find let's talk blazers and i love a good blazer you guys like i love that look on me it looks sophisticated very put together but i casual it up like with my sneakers with like a t-shirt underneath it so but i can also dress it up so that's why i love 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 my blazers but if i had to choose one i would definitely pick this one out it's from everlane the reason why is that i love this color i think this color is so 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 beautiful it goes with everything in my wardrobe like literally i style this with everything and every time that i put it on i feel like such a badass bitch <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I love it so so much the brown is like super muted it has a little bit of a vintage kind of vibe to it I love how it has shoulder pads but not super exaggerated just perfect it has the slit in the back has the buttons on the on the sleeves very minimal buttons in the front as well just three buttons I love double breasted but for this particular one I love that single breasted has a little detail right here it has pockets I mean everything the lapels are just a very decent size not like those super slim ones that makes a blazer look very cheap in my opinion it's just perfect the, the length is nice sometimes I love to wear a blazer with leggings to cover my bum it does that it's super boxy as well which gives me the, the most perfect shape I mean I can go on and on about this blazer but you will see in the in the other ways how many ways I style this blazer and I don't get sick and tired of it. That one piece that I'm like, I don't care. Like I will wear this every single day and not care. Like I wear it to work, I wear it casually, dressed up, so, so, so many ways. Definitely this is the one piece that I'm like, well, not the, all of these pieces in this video are, you know, pieces that I'm like, if something were to happen to them, I would buy them in a heartbeat again. That's the criteria that I had in my head to create this video. And the good thing about that blazer is that it's still available. Also, that's one of the things that I love about Everlane because they have very classic pieces that will be in their like um, permanent collection for, for years. Sometimes it gets frustrating with places um, from the high street, like H&M, Mango and stuff, because you find that one perfect piece and sometimes you have to buy multiple. If you really like it, buy multiple of it like right away because they don't keep things permanent in their collection. Sometimes they do bring it out like the following year, but it's like slightly different, slightly, slightly different color or fit 
or whatever and that's like one of the most frustrating things also when um you guys ask me for links and stuff i'm like this is a similar one but it's not like really without me like uh, rambling on that blazer from everlane is still the exact same uh color and fit and everything they still have it so run <laughs> this cropped denim jacket from zara is like one of the best finds of zara it, it, that i've ever you know encountered along with my zara jeans but this is like such a great fit and a piece that i can wear with everything i had a more oversized denim uh, jacket before in kind of like a white uh more of a light wash denim you know for that super oversized look my mom uh, stole it from me <laughs> and then i also had one more acid wash black kind of color the one that i love the most is this one so it's so versatile like this i wear all the time as well the the reason why i love it so much here in the netherlands even in the summer sometimes it gets pretty cold and chilly at night just that piece that you want with you as that extra layer you know so whenever i'm like wearing a dress i take this with me it looks like super cool because it's cropped as well it's just that super flattering fit for my body shape but also if i want to pull a denim on denim look this is like comes in clutch so Again, one of those pieces that I wear to the ground and style so many different ways. It looks super cool with the fringing, with a little bit of the distressing. And it's also that perfect blue wash that has a little bit of a vintage vibe to it. Has the brown stitching, just... I mean, but again, I think this is no longer available at Zara. But I have found one on the internet that I'll link. And I think it's very similar to this one. In general, if you find a good little bit oversized cropped denim jacket, you, uh, you will see how many ways you can style this. And it's like one of the best pieces in my wardrobe. Now, moving into more outerwear kind of things. I don't have a lot of outerwear. That's like one of the categories in my wardrobe that i really want to focus on this year but if there is one trench coat that you see in pretty much all my pictures during spring is this one <laughs> this trench coat is from mango and it's like my favorite favorite one i have um one other trench coat but this is the one that has my soul my heart because i love the color i love the lapels the, the the details of the a trench coat like it has all the different things that a trench coat should have also that perfect material like not material but the weight is perfect it's not too thin it's not too thick either so it goes with like different kinds of weather it's water repellent like all the things that you need in a trench coat but unfortunately mango does not have this style anymore i do think they have a similar one haven't tried it out myself but I, i'll link a couple of uh, options if you find that one trench coat that you love like i wish i have gotten this one in navy as well when it was available because that would you know navy this color and like that beige classic trench uh, trench color and i'm set you know that's all i need i lo also love how maxi this is whenever you don't feel like you want to wear anything you just wear your pajamas underneath close it up no one will know okay the second outerwear that you need is a black wool coat and this one is from the brand academy i got it in a size extra small small because it is that very oversized kind of wool coat that doesn't have a lot of shape to it but that's the thing that i love about it because it's like very slouchy but in the best way and because it's black you can wear it like so many different ways like i wear this dressed up like with a cute little you know skirt underneath or black dress for dinners and stuff like that and then this coat over it it just looks so chic because it's like very long and dramatic and i also wear this casually like with my uggs going to the grocery store so it's just that first style wool coat that goes with everything and the thing that makes it that way in my opinion is that it has a little bit of a dropped shoulder it doesn't have shoulder pads it doesn't have like dress dressy buttons 
the buttons are again very muted you can see you can barely see them actually it has like pockets here on the front i also have a gray wool coat but that one i don't really get much wear out of it like this one this is the wool coat that i always have out even now that you know in spring when at night when it's still pretty chilly this is the wool coat that i'll bring with me yeah so if you can find something like this I'll check if this exact one is still available but something like this that doesn't have like much uh, structure it's just very straightforward those are the coats that you will get the most wear out of because they go with different styles of things that you're wearing all right let's move on to bottoms because i think you're interested in that as well I wear a lot of jeans, so I have a lot of different jeans in my collection, but if I had to pick three, I would pick these ones because they fit like the bill for different things. For these two are from Everlane and I love them because like they are nice and straight leg. This one has even a little bit of stretch in it. It's called the curvy cheeky jean. You don't need any alterations or anything like that. It's size 28, length is ankle. For me, it can be just a little bit shorter, but that's okay. This one is like that super sturdy kind of jean. It's the 90s cheeky straight jean, size also size 20. Oh, this one is size 27 and it's cropped. No alterations needed. The only thing that I would change is for it to have a zip um, thingy instead of the buttons. But I love this wash. It also goes with a lot of pretty much everything and all seas all year long and then this is my favorite light wash pair of jeans you have seen this for sure if you're not new here i wear this mostly during the spring and summer because it has like the ripping and stuff this one i did get altered it's from zara but it's also like that very beautiful fit well i'm you know i fixed it up to make it fit me that way but it's just that jean that goes with a lot of different things so i also have like other washes like i have a cream pair of jeans but those are like more for specific occasions and things but these ones are the ones that i get my most wear out of all year round like honestly especially the, like these ones from everlane again i can find the exact same wash and fit still on their website the zara one i can't anymore but i'm sure that zara has the this mom fit um jean style still in their collection but you just have to find the right wash for you make sure that you can get it tailored because for us curvy girls they don't fit right from the store because they have no stretch so that those are the things that i have to take into consideration but if you want to get one pair of good you know a pair of jeans that fits you right from the store go for everlane i can swear by them because i've had great experience with their with your denim all right you know i cannot leave the leather leggings out of this lineup because fall and winter you best believe i am living in my leather leggings i just think that the, this look it's just beautiful on me like on my body shape a pair of leather leggings with a nice oversized blazer or like a long sweater a long ass coat that's such a vibe such a look for me combat boots and that's it this pair of leather leggings pretty much i would say i'll get the same amount of wear out of this in comparison to my my jeans but maybe this one a little bit more because i just love to fit so i wear this in so many different ways um i wear it to work i wear it to dinner dates I wear it casually to go on a walk so many because it's such a comfortable versatile piece this one is from Abercrombie and Fitch a size small what I love about it is that it's that beautiful material that doesn't look like cheap fake ass leather it really looks like real leather but it's not real leather so that's what I love about it it's also not but it's not like those super skin tight leggings 
I do have a pair of those, which I'll show you in a little bit, but this one, if you want that more rough leather kind of look, this is the one you have to go for. It also sits very good around the waist as well. It leaves a little tiny little gap, but nothing too crazy. So I didn't have to get this altered. So it's very, very comfortable. The only thing is that I don't like the, it has like a, a slit here around the ankles with a zipper. I mean, you can style it very cute with heels and stuff, but they also have the one now without the zipper. So if I were to buy this again, I would buy the one without the zipper because mostly I wear this tucked into my boots. Um, it does hurt sometimes, so that's the only thing. Other than that, this gets so much love and it again looks like brand new. This is the one that I was just talking about. It's a uh, Spanx uh, faux leather leggings. The reason I'm bringing this up is that I wear a lot of leggings in my color in my day-to-day -day life I also love this one from sweaty Betty I love about it is that it's not that straightforward kind of leggings it has a little bit of sheen to it so it really dresses up a regular pair of leggings I wear these just again casually but sometimes I dress them up like with combat boots a pair of or like a blazer over it just to you know dress it up a little bit but these again come in super handy we love to like sometimes go on walks and things like that so whenever you're doing that i mean there is nothing more comfortable than leggings right and in my opinion there are so many ways that you can wear leggings in a more i wouldn't say dressy because it's not really dressy it's just not athletic you know if you pair your leggings with with sneakers and sports bra that's like really athletic but you can also wear it with a blazer or a jean jacket, things like that, that makes it more dressed up, more in a casual kind of way that doesn't look like you just came out of the gym. That's what I mean. Faux leather leggings from Spanx, I do wear them in a dressy way as well. Sometimes with heels, mostly with my combat boots, to be honest, and then with like a cute little bandeau top with a big bla uh, blazer over it. And we go like on our dinner dates. But this one from Sweaty Betty is more of an athletic kind of feel. So this one I wear more for like those casual walks in the park, things like that. So my lifestyle is very, very casual. So that's why these are the pieces that I get the most wear out of and the things that I'll buy over and over again if something were to happen to them. Oh, and the great thing about Spanx now is that they have also petite line. They have like different size of uh, sizes as well their size range is pretty extensive and they have a good stretch anyway so another one of those brands that i really love if we look at essentials a pair of dressy pants is another one of those essentials to me this is a pair of black tailored dressy pants from the frankie shop and this is again something that i wear in so many different ways with sneakers in a more casual way with uh, heels for more dressed up look and you can't go wrong with a dressy pair of trousers like this you can take it to go to work in you can take it for during the weekends this is such a versatile piece especially like the wide leg ones if you want you can do like the more slimmer ones as well which also is a cute look but yeah this is like a necessity for the summer i would say these are the two pair of shorts that you need a pair of linen shorts and a pair of denim shorts that's pretty much what i wear in the summer especially when it's like super hot i wear this denim short um with my white t-shirt and that's it i call it a day put my slippers on and that's it and it's the same like when i want like just a little bit more of a, a different look maybe a little bit dressy but not even really just something different i go for my linen shorts especially because they're black they give a different vibe these are the two staples like honestly i don't really have any other pair of shorts that are not like house clothes these are the two ones that i wear over and over again this one is from zara i got it altered because shorts is like another one of those things that for curvy girls uh it's just so hard to get i don't like the shorts my shorts to be very clingy around my um, ties and I have like big ties so I have to get it in like a bigger size I think this is size European 40 and then just get it altered around the waist 
so it looks like there is room around my legs and it's the same with this one this is from H&M it has a elastic waistband but I had to get it in a bigger size and then get the waistband altered so it's like super you know it's nice and loose around my legs because linen shorts are supposed to fit that way they aren't supposed to fit like very tight around the legs so just a quick tip for you right there and another great thing about the denim shorts is that you can roll them up if you want a more show a little bit more of your legs but you can also roll them down to give you like now the more longer kind of shorts are more trendy so you can have that look but if you want a little bit you know something different you can roll them up as well so again versatility right all right i could not not include a dress in this video because to me a slip dress like this is like another versa i keep saying versatile because all of these pieces are but this especially if i'm wearing i'm going on a vacation and i'm not sure like what we are doing this is like the dress that i pretty much always pack because i can do so many things with it right i love that it has this one in particular is from bershka i'm not sure if they still have it but i'll link a couple of options below what i like about this one is that it has like this cowl neck which gives it a pretty dressy look but you can also totally casual this up and the back is like very straightforward. It has like the adjustable straps. It's a midi length. It has like slits also. It's super flowy. Also around the waist, it has a very good tailoring. So it really cinches you in a little bit. Sometimes some slip dresses really fall flat and they make you look very boxy. Another thing that you can do is if you find one that you like the fit like around the neck area, but around the waist, it's not really it get it tailored again because not a lot of slip dresses really have that instead of like looking for that perfect one just get one that you really like a lot of things about it you love the material you love the length things like that and around the waist you can just get it tailored one thing that i'm thinking about doing because this one i've wear it so many times that it's like falling apart a little bit it's not like the best best quality so i'm thinking of getting one um a silk one getting it tailored around the waist because i already know it's so hard to find one that fits right around the waist but yeah this uh this piece i wear it um so many different ways as a dress with like heels and stuff with sneakers so more ca casually i wear it like with sweaters over it in the fall um, you can wear it with like high knee like knee boots as well it's not for nothing that a lot of capsule wardrobe videos or collages things like that include a slip dress because it's really that you know that versatile and in my wardrobe at least it's such a staple all right let's move on to shoes and i'm not going to talk about these boots for long because you see it in every single video but these are the dr martens doc martens Jaden style mine are in a size 36 european 36 the one question that i get a lot about these boots is uh, the style the style is Jaden, and also if it takes a long time to break them in in my experience it took about six months to a year to really break them in now it's really comfortable like these are my most one of my most um, comfortable pair of shoes after like my sneakers of course but they are heavy but i love the the style like the way that i can style these boots so many different ways is just incredible i love the platform that it has it just makes it super edgy super cool and i love like how snug it is around the ankle it's just such a flattering pair of casual boots that's why i wear it with everything so if you want something that's a little bit more edgy and rough good platform classic i mean this is, has been around for years it's not going out of style definitely i would recommend to invest in them a pair of white sneakers is another one of those things that you need i have this one from um, air jordan I used to have the Air Force One and I would say the Air Force Ones are more versatile than these ones. Why? These ones are flatter sole. What I love about Air Force One is that they have also like that little bit of a platform 
now they even brought out like another nike style that is even has like a thicker platform which i love i think that makes it especially if, because i'm petite for me it's like more flattering these ones i do wear them a lot but also another thing that i don't like is that this part of the shoe comes in very high it makes my ankle look bigger that way so air force ones don't have that that's the thing that so i do love this but to be honest i'm really thinking of getting the air force ones again because i just think that they look more flattering on my feet than these air jordan ones um but yeah just there are also other types of white sneakers of course so many different brands that have white sneakers but for me if i had to recommend like one that's like versatile that goes with everything that's classic i would say go for the nike air force ones all right for summer if there is one pair of sandals that i wear all the time is these ones these ones are the oran sandals from hermes there are so many similar dupes or just similar styles of sandals from different more affordable brands as well which i'll link below but these sandals ever since i got them they are just the only one of the only things that i wear during the summer especially if it is a weather that i can have my toes out these are the ones that i go to i also have them in white but i don't get as much use um and wear out of the white ones as i do with this ones the this color is just my skin color pretty much it's just that perfect nude for me and i think that's why i wear it so much because they go with everything i mean nude goes with everything so i'll link a couple of options below but if you are a similar skin tone you want to invest in something nice 100 recommend and they are also comfortable i mean it takes a little bit to break them in because this is like leather of course but once you break them in they are a very comfortable pair of sandals now when it comes to accessories i don't have that many i do love my handbags but i don't have like a big handbag collection or anything i just have a couple of pieces good quality pieces that i really love one of those or the one that i get the most wear out of is this chanel wallet on a chain again you don't have to get this particular one this is another style that has been done on the market for like by like different brands but if you want to invest in something nice i cannot recommend this enough some people think it's over i mean of course it's overpriced chanel everything from chanel and luxury brands in general is overpriced but if you love luxury you want something entry level i would recommend this because if you look at the prices of the small uh, classic flap, the minis, it's just twice or sometimes even more as the price of this one. Especially with the mini, you can get pretty much the same amount in it as this one. I think this is a beautiful bag. It's like technically a wallet. I wear it as a bag because I don't really bring that much with me. I can style it so many different ways because of the chain. I bought this like little clip thingy from Amazon to shorten the straps. So I just wear it like this, like as a crossbody. I can double it up, wear it as like a top handle or like as a shoulder bag. So what I love about this handbag, the versatility of the strap, but also of the style because I wear this casually, I wear this dressed up if we're going to somewhere nice. A handbag that I, at least in my lifestyle, it works so well. So I'm so happy that I got this. I cannot recommend it enough. Oh, and the last thing about this handbag, I got it in the lambskin because I think that lambskin is just soft and luxurious i love that people said that lambskin is like more delicate i don't notice anything of that because this handbag is like good as new it doesn't have any scratches or anything and the nice thing about lambskin is that if it gets scratched up you can just puff it out with your finger and just massage it in this looks as new i have it now for two years and I wear this like to the ground. Like seriously, I wear this bag pretty much like three times at least a week. That's how much I love it. Yeah, so 
let me let me just put this away because I can talk about this handbag. I have to become the ambassador for this handbag. If you look at how many different ways I've styled it, it's just crazy. Right, like I said, I'm not like the biggest accessory person, but the one thing that I do think is an essential and that I would buy again in a heartbeat is this belt. This is from Celine. I just love how simplistic, minimal this belt is, just with a small logo. This is the smallest size. And I love that because I wear this as a waist belt um, over blazers. I just wear it normally with my jeans or dressy pants as well. It's just very, very straightforward. Again, adds that intrigue to an outfit. Looks like you put some effort into it. You put a little accessory there, especially if you're wearing all black and you put this, this little belt over it. It just looks so chic the last thing is my black um, sunglasses these are from saint laurent i love the shape of it it's just that classic cat eye shape never goes out of style it's so lightweight so like if you are going on a city trip or whatever and you have to wear like sunglasses the whole day on your face it you won't get sick of it because it's such a lightweight pair of sun uh sunnies because of the shape and the color they go with everything so all right you guys that's everything these are the pieces that i swear by like i promise you if you get some of these pieces you will thank me later like honestly i always say that i don't recommend stuff that i don't really stand by i mean of course i create also other types of outfits with other stuff that i have in my wardrobe but if we're talking staples and essentials this is the lineup like honestly and you can also see it on my feed, on Instagram and things like that because you will see these pieces for sure. Like in every other video, I style at least one of these pieces in my outfits. So I really hope that this resonated with you, that you also maybe saw some things that you want to get for yourself if you're looking to revamp in your wardrobe. Please leave any questions that you have in the comments down below. If you're new to my channel and you made it all the way through this video, please consider subscribing. That will help me so much to, you know, to get the video pushed out to more people. If you all can also like it, things like that, because I really put a lot of effort into creating these videos. So it will be so nice to get more people to view them as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.